Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, thank you for checking me out. I appreciate it. Today's gonna be pretty interesting. What I did was I went to a small, small business, mom and pop type fishing show over the weekend and I bought some baits. It's gonna be an unboxing today just to kind of show you the baits that I have purchased. All of the vendors that were there were just small hobbyist mom and pops doing this for the love of fishing. And they were all within about an hour to an hour and a half from where I live in Ohio. It's really good to be able to support those small businesses and help other fellow anglers out in their bait making adventures. For those of you that don't know, the reason that I put this channel together and the reason that I'm on all the social medias that I am is because I want to grow the fishing industry. I want to be able to introduce new people to the fishing world. And I also want to be able to help grow, manage and maintain those even smaller businesses too. Everybody loves fishing your big conglomerates like your Zoom, Strike Kings, Shimano's. But I think the backbone of the fishing industry are those hobbyists that like to tinker, critique, and make the baits better that we see mass produced. And so with this channel, I want to be able to showcase those hobbyists and those businesses as well as some of the big conglomerate well-known brands just to introduce more people to the fishing world. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and see what I picked up. I bought from, I believe, four different vendors. There was a total of 13 there. So if I didn't buy from that vendor, I still want to shout them out for all the hard work that they're doing. So you'll see somewhere up in the corners, I'm going to put on the logo for the fishing show. It actually has all of the vendors listed on there. And if you're not from the Ohio area and you're from somewhere else in the United States, you know, just check Facebook for those local vendors to you because they really appreciate all the business that they can get, even if it is a hobby. Thank you guys for listening to that little spiel I have on small business and the fishing industry. Without further ado, let's get into this box. No, none of this came from Tackle Warehouse. It's just a box that I put all the baits in to make it easier for me to show you. The first bait that I picked up, this is from BK Lures. BK Lures is a little hobby business where he goes ahead and hand paints all of his crankbaits. This particular crankbait here, this one dives to 10 feet and I just couldn't get over the color pattern. I thought it was a fantastic color. Hopefully the camera is kind of showing everything that it has there. But it's a fantastic color. He was selling these for um, $15 I believe. So not too bad of an investment. 10 foot deep diver. If you guys know me, I love fishing deep cranks. So this will definitely be in the arsenal at some point this year. You can find BK Lures on Facebook and you can also find them on Etsy. So if you're looking for someone that can do a custom painted crankbait for you, I would not I would not hesitate to go check out BK Lures. The next vendor I went to, I went to Jigmasters. Um, I ended up picking up one of their half ounce buzz baits. I honestly do not own a single buzz bait until today. And you'll see why I say that. It's not just this buzz bait. But with Jig Masters, I have used their umbrella rig jig heads in the past, and I really liked them. So when I seen that they were at the show, I had to stop by, talk to them, pick up something from them. So when it comes to spinner baits and jigs, I only use 2K jigs. So I wanted to be able to pick up something from Jig Masters. So I went ahead and I picked up their buzz baits, and we'll give it a try sometime this year and see how it does. Um, Jig Masters, they can be found on their own website, jigmasters.com. They're also on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And if you are in the Ohio area, they actually do have some of their products in store at Fisherman Central. The next bait that I purchased at the show was from M. Pierce Custom Lures, and that is a custom painted Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus One um, replica. So this is not just a repainted Mega Bass. This is just a replica that M. Pierce Custom Lures do. Let's see if I can get it out here. There we go. So this is the plus one. So that means it dives a little bit deeper than your traditional Mega Bass 110s. I don't have any of these deeper diving jerk baits. I usually just stick with the four foot divers, the regular 110s. If you're fishing jerk baits in the springtime, especially around um, this time period or even into April. The fish are suspended, but they're still suspended deeper in the water column. That's where these deeper diver jerk baits come into play. What I like to do, just 
crank it down to your desired depth before you start twitching that bait. So this one, this one dives to eight feet, um, but you can use it up to four feet. So I think this one will really work well in the pre-spawn. I went with a pink and a clear just because most of the water that I fish is on the clear side. And I think this will attract smallmouth a little bit more than a different traditional color. If you're interested in seeing what more M Pierce Custom Lures has to offer, you can actually find them on Facebook, Instagram, as well as their own website. So I will have that in the description. Matter of fact, I will have links to every vendor that I bought from in the descriptions. So if it is something that interests you, look in that description, click on that link, and just browse what they have. Because these small town hobbyists have some of the best baits I've ever fished. Now let's get into the soft plastics that I purchased, because I did purchase quite a bit of them. The first one is from M&M Custom Baits. So these ones are their four inch crawl, and these are the blue crawl, red crawl. So I know it sounds really weird, blue crawl, red crawl, but let me get one of these open and show you what they look like. So it's just a four inch crawl, something I love flipping or putting on a jig trailer. The whole body is a turquoise blue with red and black flake. And then the claws, as you can see, are just a bright, deep red with just a very subtle touch of black flake. I think the contrast on this crawl plus the blue body is really going to be a killer in the spring for me. In the spring, your crawls are typically a bluer and a black color. And as the summer goes on, they transition into that uh, orange brown color. So I think this is actually going to be a phenomenal bait to throw early in the spring, late spawn, maybe even into a post spawn pattern. Just as those crawls are molting and changing colors, you have the red crawls that kind of signify the orange and the brown and the blue body showing the transition. And it's really a color that you don't ever see anywhere. So it's just throwing a, a, the same bait, just a different color to try to get that contrast to get the fish's attention for more bites. The next pack I bought from them were some core shot Ned Rig baits. So these are just three inch Ned Rigs. And this is a core shot. If you don't know what a core shot is, let me get one out of the bag to show you. So this is a very light, smoky color, but then it has just a red inside. So if you look at it, it looks completely clear, see-through, with just a touch of gray, and then right in the middle there's a solid red line that goes from tip to tail on there. I love core shots. I have a handful of full Senko style core shots. I've never actually fished or tried any of these net heads or these Ned Rig Worm um, core shots. So I had to give it a try when I seen these. Talking to the owner, he actually said this is their, his most popular bait. I actually bought the last pack he still had. He was surprised at how fast these core shots sold out. He had already sold out of all of the five inch Senko style. And this was the last Ned Rig Worm or and this was the last net worm when I picked it up. And when we got there, we were only about 45 minutes into the show. So to be already sold out of your Sanko core shots and, and then basically sold out now of your net worm core shots, that means you're definitely doing something right when we're looking at those. Um, if you're interested in any of these core shots, any of those um, crazy cool colors that the craw came in, you can find Eminem Baits on Instagram and Facebook. They're on both of them there. So give them a give them a check out, give them a shout out because they're making some really good soft plastics. The last thing that I bought from Eminem Custom Baits were these 3.8 inch paddle tail swim baits. So these swim baits are pink on top and a chartreuse on the bottom. Let me go ahead and get these out for you. If you know me, you know that I am a sucker for a paddle tail swim bait, especially one that kind of resembles the Kai Tech. I loved having the ribbed swim bait, but as you can see, it's a purplish pink on the top, um, a chartreuse laminate on the bottom. I think this would be really good in stained muddy water, especially for the smallmouth. I got the 3.8 inch just so that I can use a smaller swim bait hook, something like a 3 16 a 1 quarter, a 1 8 um, just to help get it smaller profile, really attract the smallmouth baits or the smallmouth bite. If you want to check out more of Eminem Baits, you can find them on Instagram or Facebook. Again, just check the description. I'll have a link for it in there for you. Now, the last vendor I went to is my absolute favorite 
soft plastic business. I've mentioned them in other videos in the past. That company is Skater Baits. Jerry with Skater Baits, he was giving out a really good deal on all of his plastics. The first one I'm going to show you is his bulk prep, his bulk plastic prices. And what that was, was this entire ginormous Ziploc bag of baits. So the way that it worked was he had about a dozen, maybe even more, maybe even closer to 20 different colors of baits just thrown into each individual box based on colors. And each color had a different type of bait. So you can, have, can grab in, and I can show you here, we had a two-tone twin-tailed grub. Um, we have the dangler and a larger flipping bait. But we see you have the just your normal green pumpkin Ned Worm, your normal green pumpkin Chatter Shad. So each thing had multiple different types of baits in the same colors. And then he had about, like I said, 12 different colors. And the way that he was doing it was you could buy a Ziploc bag at $3, 5 or $10. This was his $5 bag. And the way they do it is they you buy the bag for $5. And then you just fill the bag with as many baits as you want as long as the Ziploc closes. So they said typically you can fit 60 to 80 baits in a $5 bag. 80 baits for $5, you can't beat it. So I had to pick up one of their bulk bags just to get more of their baits in my arsenal. And the really cool thing, and again, shout out to Skater Baits for it, is I had all three of my kids with me and they wanted to make sure that my kids got into the fishing industry and enjoyed fishing. So they gave each kid a free $3 bag. So each kid got to pick out 20 to 30 baits for free just to get the kids involved in fishing. If you're not in, if you're not into getting kids involved and that next generation involved, then what are you doing, man? You got to get those kids ready to fish with us. And one thing I did forget to mention too, going back to the first bait, the uh, BK lures, he actually had what he called mistake lures, and those are crankbaits that he painted, but there was some type of a blemish, a scratch, it didn't come out the way he wanted it to, and he had all of those um, in a box discounted. And when we went up to the table and I bought this crankbait, he picked up the box, he put it in front of my kids and told each one of my kids to pick out one bait for free. So my kids loaded up on baits. They were ecstatic because they were able to get a crankbait and a bag full of soft plastics. So they know this year when they go out in the boat with dad, they're gonna be able to catch a lot of fish. Before we go on to what else I bought from Skater Baits, don't forget to like and comment on this video. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, it really helps out me, and I appreciate everything you guys are doing to help me grow this channel. The other promotion Skater Baits was running was you could get one pack for $6 or four packs for $20. So I went ahead and got the 20 packs. Let's go in and see what else we got from them. So the next pack we got was almost like a morning dawn color, and we got these in a, I don't know what he calls them, I just call them a forward facing sonar shad, because a lot of companies are coming out with this type of profile and it's specifically for forward-facing sonar personally i don't have forward-facing sonar but that doesn't not going to stop me from throwing these baits i think it's a great presentation whether you have it or not so here you go again it's his morning dawn color and just a smaller profile again for that Demiki rig that hover rig however you want to fish those i think that's going to be a really good bait again i fish a lot of smallmouth water so that's why I had to go with the Morning Dawn. Continuing down the Morning Dawn path here, we went with the Morning Dawn Danglers. I think I showed these before in another video, but I'm not going to stop showing these because this is my absolute favorite bait that Jerry over at Skater Baits makes. And again, just a Morning Dawn color. Great bait, great presentation. Looks a lot like that Crush City Freeloader. And we all know how amazing Jacob Wheeler is with the, the freeloader. So that's just how amazing I'm going to be with the dangler. And last but certainly not least in the morning dawn color at least, we went with his 3.8 inch swim baits. So again, morning dawn, 3.8 inch in the clamshell. One thing that I just noticed now that I didn't notice at the show and I'll, let me get this open and show you what I'm looking at and see if you guys can pick out exactly the same thing that I picked out here. So there it is, Morning Dawn, 3.8 inch swim bait. 
So did you guys notice the same thing I noticed? I'll give you a few seconds. That's right. This is actually the same mold that Eminem's using. So if you like the Kytec replicas, you can go through either skater baits or you can go through Eminem baits. You're going to get a phenomenal product from either one. So don't be hesitant to look at either place. The last pack of baits that I picked up from Skater Baits was his Dangler series because I'm just madly in love with this series of baits. This one here is more of a, I don't remember what color he called it, so I'm not even going to say. But it's a green pumpkin on the top and a almost like a bluish pearl color on the bottom type laminate. Both of them have black and gold flake. And the bottom also has a little purple flake to it. And actually, as you move it around in the light, it looks like it's got blue and purple. Yeah, it looks like blue and purple pearls in there. So it actually is green pumpkin at the top with gold flake. Kind of a white smoke color on the bottom. And then both of them are mixed with a purple and blue pearl to kind of give it a holographic look. It's a really awesome bait. I can't wait to throw that too because it's just the color is mesmerizing me honestly. So I don't know if this bait is going to attract a fish or if it was one of those colors that attract the fishermen. We'll, we'll find out this season. All right, that was everything that I bought from the fishing show I attended this last weekend. But we're not done with this video because I have another unboxing for you. This is another order from 2K Jigs. I just got this in the mail today as I was filming. So I figured since we're already filming an unboxing for baits, let's throw this in here and see what I picked up from 2K. So first off, we picked up their 3 8 ounce Freak Buzz Bait in black. So for those that don't know, their Freak line of jigs, it's a swim jig, but the head is actually extremely flat. Kind of a different, almost world famous type jig head you can check out wired to fish or other types of bass review companies and a lot of them reviewed the freak swim bit the freak swim jig i don't know if anybody's actually reviewed the buzz bait yet like i said earlier in the video i've never owned a buzz bait in my life i used to fish them when i was younger with success but for some reason i got on this kick to buying walking the dog and poppers and just i don't have any buzz baits so i wanted to be able to stock up and get some so again this is the 2K Jigs Freak Buzz Bait in a 3 8 ounce. We also picked up a second one of those same Buzz Baits in black. Lastly, we picked up another one of those Freak Buzz Baits in white. This is a white shad color. And again, you can see right there the flat jig head. The white and black skirt, the white and black jig head itself. One thing that I really noticed with this buzz bait that I don't notice with any of the other ones that I have used is it comes with the bead. Between the bead, the actual buzz itself, and how light wired this thing is, this thing is something that you can actually burn across the top of the water or it's something that will get you action and get you bites even if you're slow rolling. It'll stay on top of that water column just because of how light that wire is. And it's going to get off a lot of noise because you're going to have the spinner or the blade. I'm not sure what they call it. I think they call it a blade. You'll have the blade spinning, but you'll also have this bead knocking into it. And having the light wired hook, as it's coming through the water, the water is going to hit the top here. And it's going to do this, and it's going to give you even more sound. This thing is going to be a fish catching machine. I also have a second white one in that same buzz bait. Next up, I bought some forward facing sonar jig heads. So I got these in 3 16 These are just white and black. I loaded up earlier in the year on all of the jigs that I needed from 2K. And then I just went around and started playing in their website and kind of seeing what else they had. So this is their forward facing sonar jig head. It's actually in the shape, see if I can do it better for you. It's actually in the shape of a small football. So again, we got two packs in this white and black and silver flake 
the jig head. The next pack we got are the same jig heads, but we got them in chartreuse. I don't fish a lot of chartreuse, but I want to make a point this year in fishing more chartreuse just to have a different contrast and color. I fish a lot of clear water, so I've never really looked into the bright colors. But this year I'm going to match something like something like these danglers with a chartreuse head just so that the chartreuse gives just a touch different contrast to try to entice more bites that I might not have gotten on a traditional you know white jig head so we'll see what happens that is to be determined later on this year the next thing we bought were two packs of their 2k's Damiki swim bait hooks so the difference between your Damiki swim baits and your forward-facing sonar swim bait hook are your forward-facing sonars are a little bit lighter so this is a 3 16 ounce your Damiki rigs are heavier so this is their 3 8 ounce so again this is something that you need to throw on a BFS setup or a spinning setup. This is something for a bigger bait, bigger profile that you can throw on a, a bait casting setup. So let's get these out of the bag and check them out and see what they look like outside and so that you guys can see how good these are. So there is the Demiki rig hook. So right off the bat, I can see it actually comes with a double hook keeper. So you don't have to worry about those baits getting ever taken off because they're secured on there with two hook keepers. It has the same design as your deposit swim jig, just a little bit thicker, a little bit meatier um, head to it. It's not as thin as your deposit, but that's because you're getting a lot of weight on there and it's still keeping the profile down. So to keep the, a smaller profile, but a heavier weight, they went wider instead of taller. But again, you still have the arrow type design on there. You have the tapered head, you got the tapered head, so again, any type of bait you put on here, the way that the head design's made, plus the way it has this little lip on each side of the head, when you go to fish it, it's gonna shake. So it's almost like you're gonna get a chatter bait, but all you're gonna need is a jig head and your bait on there. Oh, I didn't see these ones in here. So this is another forward-facing pack of forward-facing sonars. Again, 316th, these ones are just in solid black. So I have the entire color gamma taken care of. We got black, chartreuse, and white. So I should be able to catch fish for sure, depending on the water clarity and the fish's temperament based on the colors that I got. Going back to the Damiki jig heads though, we also got those same jig heads in white and silver. So it's the same white and silver that the forward facing sonars are. Same head design, same double hook keeper. Again, I fish a lot of clear water. So I like putting a white bait on a white jig head make it look just like a shad and go for it fish can't stand it fish catching machine white and silver is my go-to for anything crankbaits plastics hooks it doesn't matter white and silver is what i love and that's what i'm drawn to the last thing that i got from 2k was their new hover rig jig heads so we know that the hover rig is taking the world by storm uh, Matt Steffen kind of came up with that himself and it's been doing great work So a lot of companies are starting to come out with their own version of it and this is 2k's version there That is for you. I don't remember the weight on this. It's slipping my mind But I can tell you that it's on a one ot jig hook So it's a smaller so I went for smaller presentation something that I could throw on a spinning rod something that's ultra finesse. So I can try to get those finicky fish to bite on those days that they don't want to, especially on those dog days of summer when I'm on Lake Erie and we got that algae bloom and the fish are lethargic. I'm hoping with the hover rig, smaller baits, I can get some of those bigger fish to bite that wouldn't typically bite on. Hopefully this video helps shed some light on the small hobbyist businesses that are out there. And hopefully it got you guys intrigued and hyped up and, and energized to fish some of those baits that are from these small town businesses because at the end of the day their business doesn't thrive unless the anglers use their products a lot of people use this to supplement the income for the cost of fishing tournaments so by helping them out by buying their products you're actually helping them fish more and the more they can fish the more they can get ideas to put out more better products so the way i look at it is as you're purchasing baits from these smaller businesses you're actually helping them with research and development. Please support the small businesses around your area or some of these small businesses that I showcased today. They're great people, they're family people, 
and they're just looking to help supplement their fishing income. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.